वेलकम व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू आवर चैनल अर्थ एंड मार्स वर फॉर्म फ्रॉम मेटेरियल दैट लार्जली ओरिजिनेटेड इन द इनर सोलर सिस्टम ओनली ए फ्यू परसेंट ऑफ द बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक्स ऑफ दिस टू प्लैनेट्स ओरिजिनेटेड बियॉन्ड जुपिटर्स ऑर्बिट अ ग्रुप ऑफ रिसर्चर्स लेड बाय यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ मिनिस्टर जर्मनी रिपोर्टेड दैट द फाइंडिंग ऑन डिसम्बर ट्वेंटी सेकेंड टू इन अ जर्नल साइंस एडवांसेज the present the most comprehensive comparison to the date of isotopic composition of earth mars and pristine building materials from the inner and outer solar system some of this material is today still found largely unrelated in meteorites the results of the study have far reaching consequences for our understanding of the process that formed the planet mercury venus earth and mars the theory postulating the four rocky planets grew to their present size by accumulating millimeter sized dust pebbles from outer solar system and not tenable after mainly 4.6 billion years ago the early days of our solar system a disk of dust and gases orbited the young sun two theories describes how the course of millions of years that inner rocky planets form from original building material according to the older theory the dust in the inner solar system accumulated to ever larger chunks gradually reaching approximately the size of our moon collisions of the planetary embryos finally proceeds the inner planets mercury venus earth and mars a new theory however prefers a different growth process millimeter sized dust pebbles migrated from outer solar system towards the sun on their way they were accumulated on the planetary embryos of the inner solar system and step by step enlarged them to their present size both theories are based on theoretical models and computer simulation aimed at reconstructing the conditions and dynamic in the early solar system both describes a possible path of planet formation but which one is right which process actually took place to answer this question in that current study researchers from the university of milisher germany the observation d le cote azor the california institute of technology usa the natural history museum of berlin and the free university of berlin determined the exact composition of the rocky planets earth and mars we wanted to find out whether the building blocks of earth and mars originated in the outer or inner solar system says dr christoph Burokhahit of the University of Milstor the study first authored to this end the isotope and the rare mineral titanium zirconium and molybdenum found in minute traces in outer slightly rich layer of both planets provide crucial clues isotope and different varieties of the same element which differ only in the weight in their atomic nucleus scientists assume that the early solar system these and other metal isotopes were not evenly distributed rather they abundance dependent on the distance from the sun they therefore hold valuable information about where the early solar system a certain body building of blocks originated the precise isotope composition of earth accessible outer rock layers and that of the both type of meteorites have been studied from some time however there have been no comparatively comprehensive analysis of martin rocks in their current study the researchers now examined samples from total of 17 martin meteorites which can be assigned to six typical types of martian rock in addition the scientists for the first time investigated the abundance of three different metal isotopes but the composition of earth and mars does not exactly match in the material of the non carbonaceous coordinate either the computer simulation suggests that another different kind of building material must have also been in the play the isotope composition has their third type of building material as inferred by a computer simulation implicates that must have originated in the innermost region of the solar system explains christopher bookcraft since bodies from such close proximity to the sun were almost never scattered into the asteroid belt this material was almost completely absorbed into the inner planets and thus not occur in the meteorites it is so to speak lost building materials to which we no longer have direct access today says thomas klein the surprising find does not change the consequences of the study for theory in planet information 
The fact that Earth and Mars apparently contain mainly material from the inner solar system fits well with the planet formation from the collision of large bodies in the inner solar system, concludes Christoph Bulafin. Bureau Report.